with us now is a man behind some of the spice magic, Elliot Kennedy. Did Elliot, you write morning. Viva Forever? No, I didn't. Well, you're no, curious didn't. about that vote, then. <laughs> did you write Wannabe? Yeah. No, I wrote Say We'll Be There. You said Say We'll Be There, which was song. Really huge yeah, yeah, for them. Yeah. Uh, so you were working with the girls back in the day? I was, I mean, from the very beginning, pretty much. Um, soon after they were a girl band, um, I met the guy who was managing them at the time uh, with the idea of getting together, and then they sort of fell out the day before they were coming to work with me. And uh, he didn't give them my phone number, so they drove to Sheffield. To well, find you? To find me. How? And, and I just thought it was the most amazing thing. So that was it. And then, and then of course, the next question was, have you got anywhere for us to stay? So, <laughs> so they ended up crashing at my house. Did which they? Was brilliant. Yeah, we had, all of a sudden, I had five new sisters. You know, it was brilliant. Spice Girl gate crashes, love it. <laughs> so knowing them as well as you do and knowing what they've all done since and yeah. how their lives have developed, do you think they're in a place to have a reunion of some sort? It's, I think it's a. I think it's a great time. I mean, it's 20 years. It's that's a that's a serious amount of time, mm. and and they've had such a massive influence on women mm. around the world. You know, mm. and you know, you look. America's likely to have a, a woman president. We're going to have another woman prime minister. You know, women rock. Let's be honest. You <laughs> know, and and I think that they've got something to do with that. You know, the way that female artists are perceived in the pop charts nowadays. It's, it's a, it, I think they've had a massive effect on pop music and pop culture. So it's a good, it's a good time to celebrate. Now, we know that Emma has been very vocal about saying they want to do a reunion next year. I think that they've yeah. wanted to book a gig. But what about writing music, Elliot? Is there anything you can tell us of the girls writing? Well, do you know what? Um, I, I think it's probably the worst kept secret. I mean, social <laughs> media doesn't allow you to keep secrets anymore. <laughs> but we, yes, we have been in the studio um, with, with actually uh, just three of them. Okay. It was uh, Mel B and Jerry and uh, Emma, and we had a fantastic couple of days. We wrote a brilliant song, and they feel really, and the energy was exactly like it was 20 years ago. They were just Aww. as enthusiastic, just as much to say, just yeah, as I much bet. to celebrate. Um, so you it, were it was still fantastic. as henpecked, presumably. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> So this song that they've written, is that for the Spice Girls? Is it for the three of the girls? Is it going to get released soon? Who knows right now? I think it's it's in a bit of a state of flux. I mean, they've, they've got lots of plans that they don't tell me about. Uh, they've actually released a little video on social media this morning about celebrating and wanting some kind of birthday party. And uh, so I immediately text Jerry to say, what's this about? Help me out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. just like, you'll all find out, you know. So even I don't get that information. But... Um, it, I think that I think that it's a good time to celebrate their achievement. Yeah. I think that the world needs a, a, a party like that. Yeah. You know, we're, we're in a funny old time, and I think it's good to look back and, and remember those times. Yeah. I think it's good for everybody. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to hearing that chat when eventually it comes round, and yeah. hopefully uh, you'll keep us up to date if you find out before we find out. And I like, will. Let us know. Absolutely. Elliot, I'll keep you. This morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. Well, I didn't get in the business to be famous. I got in the business because I saw what my father did, and. I work hard. I've never felt naturally gifted um, at a talent. I felt that I've had to work at it. And I'm an anxious person, you know. I have to, I have to fight against myself.